In recent years, climate change has become a globally discussed topic. Activists and scientists strive to explain and warn what is climate change, the global disaster it can be, and the impact that human activity has on it. According to NASA, even if we end up with emissions of gases into the atmosphere, this will not stop global warming, since the planet needs decades, or even centuries, to recover. Although it is a social, political and economic problem, we can individually contribute to the limitation of this catastrophe. Hello, my name is Isabel Gómez and I'm a student at the University of West of England here in Bristol. Since I moved to this city from Spain, I've realized how it has helped me to develop and define my morals and values. Because looking at myself four years ago, I didn't really associate climate change as a big problem, and I didn't really understood the impact I have as an individual. And I was just being driven by this social pressure of consumerism and waste that we live in. Thankfully now, I realized that we need to exercise our rights as citizens and consumers, and while we keep pressuring governments and companies for a change, why not try to live as sustainable as possible? That's why I've challenged myself to start a zero-waste lifestyle and I want to find out how achievable it is and if it will benefit my health, my pocket and my footprint. I've been looking for some tips to help me start this journey. Let's leave it to tell it. What is zero waste for me? Well, it's a, it's a new word, it's a new bit of jargon for something that's been around for a long time. And um, even when I was in my early 20s, I was conscious of being, uh, you know, wanting to reduce my own impact on the, the earth. Um, I, I went vegetarian for many years and I worked for a wildlife group and I, I tried to do things that reduced my usage of, of things. Um, so it's something I've been into for ages and ages. I think that what is the most important is to do what you can do fairly readily, at least to start off with, um, to, to look for the simple things that you can do to, to reduce your impact. On, on the earth. What action can I take? Do I take part in a demonstration? Do, do I get involved with Extinction Rebellion? So it depends on where you're at at any particular time. If you've got a full-time job or full-time study or study and a job, you probably don't have time for a lot of things, but you can, make, you can still make small changes in your life, like even making a cup of tea. You can be thinking about where do I get the tea from? Uh, is there a better way to to make tea? Or so you know, tea. You've got the tea. You've got the sugar. You've got the milk. Where does the sugar come from? Where does the milk come from? Is there a way I can improve my carbon footprint just in 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 in, in the cup of tea? <laughs> and what's really challenging for all of us is that it's really hard to go to the supermarket and buy things without packaging. The big thing is uh, making it convenient enough for us to make the choices we want to make. We've been encouraged and manipulated into becoming much more wasteful as mm -hmm. a, without even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. um, and I suppose one thing I, I, I hope people will take away is to just think and look and become conscious of your life because that way you get back control and you can start making choices. Well, um, rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one, one thing I've tried to do is to get a clearer, a clearer idea of what can be recycled so that I can throw away less, put less into the landfill, into the black bin. Um, and 
I guess part of it is I've become part of a community that that has the same goal mm -hmm. and uh, it feels great. So I think what Shelley has shared with me today is really useful. I think she's given me quite a lot of uh, advices that now I listen to put into practice. To start this challenge, I first decided to put into practice some of Shelley's advices. She showed me her zero waste kit. So I've decided to make my own one. I've also decided to have my own general waste bin to keep track on it and my own food waste bin. Today I'm going to start changing my food habits. My goal is to eat as sustainable as possible, taking care of what I eat and avoiding packaging. I've been vegetarian for more than a year now, and I believe that helps to reduce my carbon footprint. But I still need to do more. So from now on I want to buy seasonal, organic and local food. And by doing so, I know I'm going to help to reduce the environmental costs related to food miles. And by buying organic and local, I know that the farm didn't use any pesticides and I eat fresh food as well. And now I'm going to see how is it to bring to practice. I just came back from shopping now. I couldn't get any organic food at the farm because they didn't have any. So instead I went to the local veg shop and I almost avoided packaging. The thing is that they didn't know where all the food comes from. So I've decided that for next time I'm going to try and get a veg box because I will know that it's organic, seasonal and local food and I want to compare the prices to see if it's more expensive. Every morning I have coffee. I've got loads from Spain, so I don't need to buy more. But what I have to buy every week is milk. I've decided that I'm going to change to oat milk, as I've found that it's the most sustainable non dairy milk. But I want to avoid packaging as well. So I'm going to start to make my own one. It's really easy, definitely cheaper, and in the fridge lasts around 5 days. So far, I haven't been able to completely avoid packaging. As you can see, the jar is quite full already. With food waste, I think I've been better, but as I don't have a compost bean, I have to throw it in the brown bean. But ideally, I should have one. I think I've been pretty good with food as I normally cook the same meals so it's easy to just prepare some more and put in a container for the next day or to take to uni. Today my first veg box has arrived. It's more money than if you go to buy the same products in a supermarket. But considering that it's organic and seasonal food, I prefer it this way. After trying to go zero waste these weeks, I've realized that I am able to avoid packaging with food, but I'm still buying products like shampoo, conditioner, and that come in plastic packagings. So instead of going to a zero waste shop and buying one that doesn't come in a plastic package, I've decided to make my own ones. So today I'm going to make shampoo, I'm going to make conditioner and toothpaste. With all these products you can make so many things. So yeah, let's go ahead. Observe your own life, you know, start questioning, do I need to buy that thing? And it's like, well if I wasn't going to buy it, what would I use instead? Street life, you better 
can't save yourself Get out of the street life Before it gets so late Running here and there, I was running everywhere Thought I had some friends, found out the hard way I done lost myself trying to be a man Wasn't what I thought, I saw a lot of things Grew up so fast you could say Thought I knew it all, didn't know a thing The future had something in store for me When I look at you, I see myself Street life You better save yourself Zero Waste is a beautiful journey that has shown me what matters, at least for me and in my own life. I've got to know myself better. I've thought about my actions and asked myself why every time. Even though I haven't been perfect through my journey, because I haven't completely been able to avoid packaging, at least now I have a better understanding of what I have to do to one day be able to live completely zero waste. I now know that it is possible to avoid packaging when shopping. I try to avoid supermarkets as much as I can, so I don't even get tempted. Instead, I go to the local shops. It is better for the environment, for your health, and you're supporting your local community. 